Kia ora koutou, ko monik doi aho. Welcome everyone, it's so lovely to see you here. Uh, I have been asked here on behalf of Kira's New Zealand. Uh, my name is Monique Doy and I am a size inclusive stylist. It is my mission in life to help women to wear their personalities and show up for their lives. So I've been asked here by Kira's New Zealand who have created the We Connect NZ program to help carers with connection and to increase their feelings of well-being. Because as we know, being a carer is a really full-on and sometimes trying job. And it's really important that as carers, we also take time to care for ourselves. And that's a little bit what we're going to be working on today. Now, you are here with me in my wardrobe where I spend an awful lot of time uh, because my wardrobe is a place that brings me a lot of joy, um, but it wasn't always that way. And if you're not feeling that way about your wardrobe right now, uh, I want to help you to reset your style. Okay, so number one, we're going to work on understanding our body. And then we are going to work on unlearning everything we think we already know. Because there's a lot of opinions out there. Uh, and sometimes you need to ditch them so that you can figure out your own style. Without worrying too much about trends or what's cool or what other people think of our bodies. Number three, we are going to find out what we like. How often have you really stopped and thought about what you really like as far as fashion is concerned? Number four, we are going to play. We're going to learn to play with clothes and play in our wardrobe. And then when we're ready for number five, we are going to invest in key pieces that are going to make our wardrobe really, really usable. Firstly, I want to talk about understanding your body. The first thing to think about is that your body will change. Goodness knows over my life, my body has been a ton of different sizes and shapes and it's still changing all of the time. Understanding that the body you're in right now is only for now really can give you some freedom to play with your style. Size has no moral value and neither does food. You're not bad because you eat a sandwich. Okay, you're not bad because there are carbohydrates in your life or because you like to eat chocolate. Food is there to nourish us, but it's also there to bring us joy, to bring us togetherness and to make us happy. So when you are eating, you should feel happy, not stressed, not worried, just enjoy it. You are not better or worse because of the size of your clothes. And the sooner you stop feeling like a failure because maybe your dress size has gotten bigger, the easier finding your style will be. Move because you love your body, not because you hate it. I've had a really complicated relationship with exercise. In the past, I have really felt like I was never doing enough and like exercise was only for weight loss. That's really not the case. Now I move because it's good for my brain. It stops me getting injured. Um, it gets rid of all of my aches and pains. And I move when and how I want to. So if 10 minutes of yoga is the ideal exercise for you, if a gentle walk around the block is the ideal exercise for you, it is better to do something you love long term with consistency than punish yourself with exercise. Exercise is to love your body, not to punish it. Other people don't get an opinion on your body. It is the least interesting thing about you. And sometimes you have to make boundaries around these things. My family knows that I don't want to discuss my body. There are so many more exciting things that I'm up to that I want to talk about. Um, I'm not interested in discussing whether I have gained weight or lost weight or been doing more sit-ups or whatever it is. It is just not relevant to the person that I am, and it's not relevant to the person that you are either. Live your life to the fullest in the body you have right now. Respect that body and enjoy being in it. It's carrying around your dreams. It's getting you from place to place every single day. There's no buying clothes that are too small for a later date in case your body's going to change. We just buy clothes that make us feel great and comfortable and happy right now. We buy clothes that help us to wear our personality and show people who we are on the inside, but on the outside. Unlearn everything you think you already know. Okay, who has seen some of these style rules before? 
There are many stylists and many friends and mother-in-laws and aunties who have tried to help us with our style by telling us all of these style rules. Now, if you've ever heard something is flattering on you, very often what people mean by flattering is they just mean it makes you look thinner. You don't actually have to dress to make your body look thinner. Because remember what I said earlier, size has no moral value. You're not a better person if you look thinner and you're not a worse person if you look bigger. And actually, if you get rid of those rules around what you wear, you are going to find your own style so much more easily. And actually, you're really going to have fun while you're doing it. The rules are about looking acceptable to other people as a way of feeling validated. That is not the sort of validation you need. You know you're an awesome person. It's actually okay for you to have fun with your style however you want. It is exhausting to follow the rules because they change all the time. And often they are based on whatever body type is in fashion now. I am bigger in the tummy with smaller legs and smaller hips. The current body type that's supposed to be cool is bigger in the bum and smaller in the waist. I'm never going to be bigger in the bum than I am in the waist and I'm not interested in trying. So if I'm going to ignore the body trends, I'm also going to ignore the trends in style and just wear whatever brings me joy. I don't know if you've heard of Iris Apfel, but there's a fantastic documentary about her just called Iris. I think it might be on Netflix. Look it up. It's incredible. She is my style icon. She's over a hundred and just wears whatever she wants. Iris does not care about the rules. Be like Iris. So often when working with new clients, I ask them, what do you actually like? And they don't know. Because we spend so much time thinking about other people, what we can do for them. We don't really sit down to think about what we just really like. Or we don't have an opportunity to choose. In these photos here, you can see me holding my little Florence, who is now nearly eight. Um, and on the right there, that's with my little Willow, how, who is now almost 10. I had a uniform. I was a uniform dresser. I had a uniform of a stripy t-shirt or a stripy cardigan and stretchy pants for a long, long time. And then you can see there where Willow is about two. Um, I'm starting to embrace a little bit of color and a little bit of print and starting to move towards what my style would eventually be. Have you got a show on TV that you love to watch where you think, oh my goodness, I love that person's style? For me, that was The Mindy Project, and this is Mindy Kaling, uh, who wrote The Mindy Project and also starred in it as Dr. Mindy Lahiri. Um, her clothes are bright. They have got embellishments. She wore incredible jewelry. Um, she wore more fitting silhouettes, which was not something I was used to at all. Um, once my body had changed and I'd had two cesareans, fitting silhouettes was terrifying to me. Um, and she really inspired me to start to think about what my style could become. This is a gorgeous photo of three of my friends. We've all got really different styles, um, and we're changing our style and growing all of the time with it. So it's time to find out what you like and get curious. These are photos from a recent New York Fashion Week. They are all plus-size women absolutely owning their style. Um, and what I do is I put together photos like this either on a Pinterest board um, or I just save them onto my phone from Instagram and I look at what the styles have in common so I can try them in my own wardrobe. So if you look at that photo of the yellow dress and you find that you've got something yellow that you want to try on, see if you could put that same look together. Um, have you tried wearing white boots? White boots. I had it for ages. And then what I noticed is how many of these women were wearing white boots. So I got myself some white boots to try with my dresses to really start to change things up. Now, I know it's not often that we sit down and really think about ourselves. But when we do, it does help us to put together the kind of clothes that we might need for our lives. What are my hobbies? What feels good in my home? It's interesting that sometimes, to me... Uh, women have amazing things in their home that can reflect their wardrobes. You're going to see a lot of green in my wardrobe and a lot of green on my walls. So if you're struggling to get inspired, look around your home and look at the things that you really love. Maybe they will give you a clue as to what sort of things you could also wear. What's my favorite color? What are five words that really describe your personality? 
see if you can comment some words about your personality under this video and they will help you start to think about what some outfits might look like that could match a personality like yours. One of the best ways to figure out what you do like is by working out what you don't like. So try on some items that you'd never usually wear. I love to go to op shops with my friends and make them try on stuff they don't like. You never know, suddenly they might find a collar they like the shape of or um, a particular garment shape, like say an A-line skirt that they haven't tried on before. They might not like that skirt, but they might think to themselves, oh, actually I quite like an A-line skirt, which gives them a direction to go as far as what to look for when shopping. Um, try on all of your friends' clothes, go into your wardrobe and pull out some of those things that may have tags on them and try them on with some other things that you wear all the time and see what they look like. Uh, get inspired by using Pinterest, make a Pinterest board of outfits you like. I find for myself, I use keywords like um, plus size or bright fashion or embellished fashion on Pinterest and find heaps of outfits I really like the look of. Um, and come on Instagram, come and find me on Instagram. I'm Monique Doy and see who I'm following and find inspiration from there. All right, so we're starting to get an idea of what we like. Let's have a think about playing with fashion. What combos can we put together that we wouldn't normally wear? Do something unexpected. Take pieces from opposite sides of the color wheel and try them on together. What? Yellow and pink? Shocking, <laughs> but it's fun and actually it works. If you try wearing a t-shirt and layering it underneath your dresses, you will find that you have got a whole new outfit. If you want to wear all black, but you want to make it feel really chic, try layering different textures. This is kind of a feathery looking top and sequin pants. And when you layer different textures together, it is always going to look chic. Want to try mixing prints? Go for a large scale print and a small scale print, find a color in common and put them together. This skirt has got lilac in the flowers and I've got lilac here in the stripes and mixed together, it actually works. But more importantly, it's super fun. Make it easy for yourself. Try wearing all black and then just add a super bright accessory. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what you actually are going to buy. The first thing I would say is great accessories make a huge difference. If you are wearing the plainest outfit, but you have got a bright pair of shoes, a cute handbag, or a really fun necklace, like I love these vintage gold earrings as well, um, it will make all the difference. Just that one focal piece can really make the outfit. So if you see something like that you love, grab it. The second thing is shop secondhand. Shopping secondhand is so much fun. I have got a secondhand buy and sell group you can join that's completely free uh, called Own Your Style on Facebook. And there are 10,000 women in there, sizes 14 plus, selling their clothes and buying new ones. It is such a great way to get uh, new things for your wardrobe to try that will not cost the earth. Also, when you're shopping, fit is everything. The shoulder seams need to fit you perfectly. Nothing should pinch or bother you. Everything should be really, really comfortable. Um, and if it fits you perfectly, it is always going to look great. About price per wear. If you, something is really expensive and you don't wear it a lot, it is not great value. If something's really cheap, but you don't wear it a lot, it's still not amazing value. You want to buy pieces that you can wear again and again in a variety of different ways uh, and that end up basically costing you nothing in the end. Shop with a stylist. Somebody like me knows exactly where the clothes are that will work for you. So you don't have to spend hours and hours trying things on. In fact, you don't even have to leave the changing room. We are there to go between you and the shop assistants. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about them either and find you the clothes you need in a short amount of time and work carefully to your budget. Now, hopefully today's talk has inspired you to start thinking again about what you like. If all else fails, just grab yourself a bright t-shirt. A little burst of color will really lift your mood and will actually lift the mood of the people around you. If you want to find me, you can find me on Instagram, Monique Doy. Um, I'm on Facebook as well. Um, Own Your Style is my paid Facebook membership. You're welcome to join. 
um, and make sure that you get hold of the people at Carers New Zealand if you need any help because they are here to support you and connect you with the resources that you need. Any questions at all about today, you can find them in the comments below and I will come through and answer them. Thank you so much for spending your time with me.